Weeks before Gustave Dalien was chosen to win the Nobel Prize in 1912, a container of acetylene gas exploded and left him permanently blinded. The man whose lighthouses had done so much to illuminate coastlines around the world was now trapped in perpetual darkness. Some cynics believe that the Nobel Committee was moved to award Dalian the prize out of sympathy for his injury, but those sour grapes strike me as being rather hard to swallow. In the year of the most famous maritime disaster in history, that tragic tale of ship meets iceberg in the North Atlantic, safety at sea was no small matter. Eighty-four years later, a former courthouse in his hometown of Stenstorp was converted into a museum celebrating his life and achievements. The Dalian Musée does fantastic work promoting his legacy within Sweden, and so long as you have Google Translate activated on your browser, you can visit their website for pictures, biographical information, and, most excitingly of all, these. This is an Optimist Knoll, a replica of the original Optimist pins which Dalian commissioned from the great metal manufacturer Sporong in the 1930s. At the time, Sweden was going through a period of economic instability known as the Kruger Crash, its own version of the Great Depression. Throughout these dark years, the blind elderly Dalian, still managing director of his beloved Arga company, would keep these pins saying Va Optimist, Be Optimistic, tucked under his lapel, and hand them out to any prophets of doom he believed were in need of cheering up. I don't know about you, but it certainly works for me.